Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing Oracle eBusiness Suite Technology Stack and Oracle Homes. First, we'll be seeing what is what is the technology stack, and what are different products that are there in the technology stack. Then we'll be seeing what are different Oracle Homes related to these technology stack components. Then we'll be seeing the technology stack product versions which are used in Oracle eBusiness Suite. So what is technology stack exactly? The technology stack is nothing but the collection of the software products or basically the Oracle products in this case, which together comprise application tier and database tier. So when we are discussing the technology stack, we'll be discussing of all the products or Oracle products that together basically comprise the application tier and also the database tier. So first let's see in the application tier, what are the technology stack products or components? The forms and reports is one of the very important components of Oracle business suite and the technology stack that basically is used for that is the internet application server version 10.1.2. Then the same thing is also used even in release 12.2 as well. So for forms and reports, the product that is used in Oracle Business Suite is Internet Application Server 10.1.2. Then for the web server, we use something called WebLogic Server in release 12.2, whereas in release 12.1, we use Internet Application Server version 10.1.3. For database, as you would be knowing, it's a simple, there's, it's simple to guess, obviously that we use basically Oracle RDBMS for the database tier. Release 12.2 of Oracle Business Suite is certified to use 12C and 19C, whereas Release 12.1, it can be used even with 11G database as well. But remember, obviously that lot of customers use, or most of the customers currently use only 12C, and the customers have already started upgrading their databases to 19C. Now let us see, let us see in detail what are all the Oracle homes that are there or basically the products that are there basically in the Oracle business suite. Now on the database tier, obviously we have only one Oracle home because we have only database in the database tier. In application tier, we have 1012 Oracle home that is IAS forms and reports. And we have WebLogic Oracle home, which is basically the application server and Oracle common and web tier. So these are all different Oracle homes which are there in the application tier. To make it simple, in database tier we have only one oracle home, but in application tier as you can see there are four oracle homes. Which also means that as an applications DBA, if you are doing the maintenance of oracle in a suite, you have to apply the patches, the latest patches for all of these components as well. Then in release 12.1 it is almost the same except that the application server is weblogic in release 12.2 but it is IAS or older version. IAS 10G that is 10.1.3 in release 12.1. That is the only difference and all the remaining components are the same. Of course, in release 12.1, we don't have specifically something called common or web tier. Of course, there is basically Apache, but that is basically nothing but the component of the 10.1.3 actually. So which means in release 12.2, we have more Oracle homes to patch as part of the maintenance. Now that we have seen what are different components that are there in the application tier and also what are different Oracle homes, let us see what are the versions that are certified. So for database as we have seen before, the versions that are certified for release 12.2 are 12C and 19C whereas 11G is also additionally certified for release 12.1 and forms and reports both use basically 10.1.2 and IS web server is not used in release 12.2. It's used only in release 12.1 that is 10.1.3. WebLogic is used only in release 12.2, not in 12.1. And the version is 10.3.6. And remember that 12C WebLogic is still not certified to be used with Oracle Eves in a suite. And it should be ideally at some point of time, but there is nothing that has been mentioned exactly in the roadmap. And WebTear is also the something which is part of release 12.2. It is certified with 11.1.7 and 11.1.1.9. But remember that all the latest versions or implementations basically use only level 11.1.1.9. So make sure that if you are still using 11.1.7, you will be you have to upgrade to 11.1.9 because that is 
now the prerequisite for most of the patches that you apply in the application tier. So these are all the products and Oracle homes that are there in Oracle Business Suite, which means the moment you install Oracle Business Suite, you will be having all these products by default along with the installation.